Hello everybody and welcome back to Journey to the End of the World. In the last episode, we found this village and we called it Village Z. And as you can see over there, the marker for this town, Nightmare Moon, don't go into the pig thing. The village has already gone into the pig thing because they think they're pigs. But yes, the uh, marker of this town is the Z virus because while I was digging around for this wall over here, the zombie spawner because we did find a zombie spawner down here yeah there's a hole there so be careful if you come to this village because it leaves the outside world but yes there is a spawner that you can do with as you wish turn it into a grinder whatever i don't mind i'm not going to be here i am i'm traveling onwards i'm traveling far far i'm just making the sound because i can hear we do have a bit of feedback so i will check that now just, just, there you go. So yeah, that is, uh, that is Village Z. Just make sure Nightmare Moon doesn't fall into the pig pen a second. Nightmare Moon, I just need to go to sleep. All right, just stay there for a second, girl. So I just need to go to sleep. And while I was digging around, I also found something kind of weird. It's scary, actually, which is, there we go, now we can get on Nightmare Moon. Which is, when I was digging around, I saw this. So, I just wanted to write the coordinate down. This is our current coordinate, which we'll bring up now. We're going to be travelling again. Which is 127333. But if I make this bigger to fit the screen, the, the textures for some of the monsters, and I saw this with a couple of others, but I'm just using this one. The textures for some of the monsters is now starting to break, because we're starting to travel far beyond what Minecraft really should do. And uh, we're getting some of the, the textures uh, not loading. Like, the face is loaded, but the rest of the spider hasn't. So, uh, ooh, yeah, that's that's the thing. So, there you go. So, let's just not take a screenshot. Let's bring up our coordinates. Oh, yeah, I mean, maybe maybe I should release all of you from your, your prisons. There you go. You're all free. You're all free from your temporal prison. No, oh, no. I forgot, I've got to get outside, so I'm gonna get outside and Nightmare Moon just stay there a second. No, 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 Nightmare Moon, we don't we don't need to go back to Village Z. They will all be consumed by the zombie virus momentarily. So there we go, and we're off. Right, which way is north? This way? Uh, south. North takes us, wait, north counts us down? Uh, hold on a second. Do we travel... I need to get around this bloody ravine now. We need to travel east. Yeah, east takes us up. Okay, east takes us up, and north and south changes our X and Y. So we want to go back to zero while traveling east. Perfect. Perfect. So we'll go this way. Oh, watch out for that hole. And then we'll be off. Let's just make sure we can get back to zero. Oh, not a forest. And then we're travelling far, far across the land again. We're already nearly at five minutes, so maybe we should uh, take a pause just to make sure that nothing goes wrong, because we don't want to go back to that village again. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to have to deal with zombie the zombie apocalypse that will one day arise in that village. Oh, a plane's biome as well, perfect. And hilariously, Screener's just come onto Steam. Screener is now playing Daisy. Oh, Screener, you do not know the irony, sir. You do not know... The irony of, of what you have just played. Another village? Another one. Wow. Wow. I'm not making another village. Now, I'm sorry villagers, but you are you have had the unfortunality to, to end up right next to uh right next to wait, hold on a second. What's wrong with our X and Y here? Oh, we're in a positive, that's why. Oh, snow, we haven't seen snow in a while. But I'm sorry, other village. I, I, I can't. I can't. I just can't. You are the one village that will be sacrificed to the to the monsters just to keep us trucking along here. Our X, our, our... Sparrow, you're not looking. You're not looking. It's... Because you know what I was looking at? I was looking at the 72. No, you're, you're looking... You're supposed to be looking at your... Z. Not the Y. The Y doesn't make any difference. 
it's the Zed you're supposed to be looking at. And uh, a lot of Zs. Village Z, Scrain is playing Daisy. Got to look at the Z coordinates to bring us back to zero. There is a lot of Zs going on this episode. Either way, that's five minutes. Ooh. I didn't even see that ravine. But either way, that is five minutes. So let's take a quick pause to make sure the recording won't crash. And then we will continue onwards back to zero and onwards with the adventure. And while we are... While we are paused, I will get Nightmare Moon across this river. So one second, those all good. Right, let's continue onwards. Let's continue on the journey. So we're going to be trying to slowly make our way through this forest to get back to zero, and then we'll be back on track. Oh god! Can I just oh, come on, Nightmare Moon? I believe that we can go through these leaves. Nope. All right, we'll go around. We are like on the edge of a. What the hell is that? Oh, flower randomly popped. And this is actually taking us back to zero. So yeah, we're actually on the edge of a... East. East takes our thing up. I am so confused about Z right now. 16, 15, 14, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 0. Okay. We're around zero again. Good, good. You know what? I might even take that icy plains just to get out of this, this horrible forest. Because forests are the things that slow us down the most, but... Hopefully, we won't come across too many villages. And I did see the snow is through here. Ah, oh, there we go. Beautiful. Extending out in front of us. A nice, easy road. We should get to a quarter of a million in no time. Enderman spazzing out in the water because he's a bit of an idiot touching the water when he can't touch the water. Silly Enderman, you can't touch the water. So, uh, yeah, we'll just... Ra rally on over to hopefully 130,000. We are, we have passed up that village. We decided to pass up on that village. So, hopefully there won't be any more villages for quite some time. Because it is nice to stop at the villages and restock your supplies. You know, get a couple of extra carrots, which I did. I think 44 should last us for now. So it's nice to restock, but, you know, a village just five foot away from another village, you know. But thank you, but I've already restocked. I'm good. I don't, I don't need to restock again. But it was very nice of you to, to offer the, the restock. I, I appreciate that. So, hopefully there won't be another village for quite some time. I mean, maybe if there was one in the snow, I'd potentially stop and restock, even though I've just restocked, because who doesn't want to see a snow village as they journey to the end of the world? But... I think villages only spawn in plains for some strange reason, like, I've never seen a village spawn outside of the plains, like, I've never seen one. Oh my word! Okay, we'll take a, we'll take a little bit of a deviation off course here. We'll take a little bit of a deviation off course, because holy shit, we're in a special biome. Oh, there's an ice spire biome, oh my word. Oh, this, I've never seen one of these before. Oh man, this looks cool as balls. Especially because it's like on the mountain tops as well. Oh, that looks cool as balls. I, lo I love it. I I'm digging it. Like my moon, can we like ride up this way? I want to like get a, a, a towering shot. Oh, 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 yes. Just look at that. That is. Oh, that is beautiful. That is amazing. I love these. I hope, I really do hope that the end of the world has, um, that our journey comes to an end in an I spy a biome so we can build, like, our castle in inside one of these giant ice spires because, ah, oh, these look, these look freaking sweet. We're actually, we're actually going to pull ourselves way off course here to minus 127 just so we could ride through this, this biome. It's a shame though it's so small, because like over there is a jungle biome, and as you can see, just beyond this hill, it's already coming to an end, which is such a shame, because, oh man, these are, these are ice spire biomes are amazing. They are going to go like way off course here, because I'm trying to cross this river without having to like actually cross it. So there we go, there's a jump. And now we'll get back on track, but oh my word, I love, I do love, look at that tower build to build our castle around centralize it around the compact ice tower that would be amazing but hopefully it is hopefully it isn't because that that is a cool biome that is a really lovely biome but that was uh, that was uh, <laughs> that was a nice little detour now we have to get back on track and 
looks like we are going to be just crossing more icy wilderness, which is great because that means there's no trees to impede us, which means we can definitely get to 130,000 at least. And then we'll hopefully just continue onwards. Remember, we're going to a quarter of a million in this season. We made it to 100,000 last time. Now we've got to go to 250,000. We've got to make it to a quarter of a million, which, which is far more do, which is completely doable. Um, especially if we have, like, just pure planes, like, over and over. So, we're at five minutes again, and I, I, I fucking hate how Java is just a, a recording hog and takes so much recording space. So, we're just gonna take a quick pause here and check the record. Guys, I fucking hate everything. I really hate this game sometimes. I had to go somewhere, so I save and quit. I load back into the game, and Nightmare Moon is just... Fucking gone. Just gone. It's gone. Not having that shit. I'm not, I'm not having that shit. No. So, I will continue to the end of this session, and then I'm getting Nightmare Moon back, because that's bull shit. Why? Why does shit sometimes despawn when you save and quit? What the fuck is that? Minecraft chick, what's your problem? You're supposed to make sure this shit doesn't happen. Fix your shit, Minecraft chick. God damn it, Jeb. God damn it, Jeb. Blame you. Also, I have just remembered, we don't just see villages in the plains, we sometimes see desert villages. Well, if you're gonna chase me, chase me. I mean, I guess the saving grace is we're, we're coming to an endless ocean, so I won't I won't have to uh, I won't have to take Nightmare Moon across this particular ocean, but that is some horse hockey right there. That is some major horse hockey. What do you say, zombies? Do you think it's some horse hockey? Because I I certainly do. Get out of here! Yeah, just hit me. I don't I don't, I don't care. I don't care. We've yeah, hit me. Hit me, come on, I want you to hit me! I don't give a shit, we're going across an ocean now. So unless you're prepared to chase me... That's, that's the way it's gonna go. That's the way it's gonna be. I say, luckily, luckily, first of all, we made it to 130,000. Give us ourselves a round of applause there. But luckily, we have... We, we, we're hitting an endless ocean. So we don't have to worry about Nightmare Moon getting across it, but that is some BS that the, the, the animals, horses sometimes despawn when you load and save. It's oh fuck you, Minecraft. As I say, my my only saving grace here is that we're going across an endless ocean, so we don't have to worry about the leash breaking on Nightmare Moon. We'll just get her back at the end of this recording session because that was that was some horse. That was some. Horse malarkey, and you know it. You know it, Minecraft. That's fine, though. That's fine. This is about 15 minutes, or will be when we hit 5. What time is it? 10. So if we went for another 10, or another 5, that'd be 11, because I do have to, I do have to pop out to work. So 10 would be, another 5 would be about 10 to at the end of this. Then 11:20 past. Yeah, sure. We'll we'll maybe do one more. We could always cut it at 15 minutes if need be. And then when I come home, I'm going to get Nightmare Moon back because that was some bull crap right there. Big bull crap. Is there any point of going to that island while skeletons on it? I don't think so. Is the monsters chasing us? Nope. All right. Good. Good. <laughs> Ah, oh, I'm I'm still miffed about that. I'm I'm miffed. I'm so peeved at that. <laughs> Darn it! I see a tower structure showing up. Is that another ice spire biome, or is that just a very very tall cliff? That is a very very tall cliff. All right, with lava. Ooh, how how romantic! Oh, firelight in the night sky. How romantic! Well, that will be, that's our destination. Hopefully we can swim around to, to a flatter piece of land. 
That looks really nice though. Just it kind of every time I'm like sailing and I see these giant like cliffs towering above me, I'm always reminded of that one scene from Lord of the Rings. It makes me feel like I'm in Middle Earth. Yeah, and either way, we'll just say it. We'll just uh, sail away over to this island, and we'll we'll trek onwards. Take a pause, do another five minutes, and that'll be this episode down. And then uh, we'll do another five minutes. Oh man, look, there's another one there. Just like I love these giant mountains in the savannah biomes. They're so they're so amazing. I do like the new. I have to say, the new biomes. Oh, well, we're not. We're not going to land on that shore. There's a. There's a lot of crap on that shore. We'll we'll land in this little cove here, but I do have to say that I am really impressed with 1.8 in terms of biomes because some of those biomes, like that giant mountain and this giant mountain, and those ice spires, they just impress me. So I have to say, I do I do like the new biomes. We're we're just going over five minutes, but I have to. I can't stop where I'll drown. So. We'll have to make it to the shore before we pause. And then we'll do another five minutes to wrap up this episode. And uh, we'll do another one and then I'll get Nightmare Moon back because it was bullshit that we lost Nightmare Moon. So one second. Okay. All good. Let's continue eastwards. Man. I like this as well. This field of flowers. That's nice. But yeah, let's continue onwards. We're way off course, so we'll head back to zero to end this episode. Zombie, get out of here. I'm not dealing with your shit. I'm not dealing with any of your shit right now. I'm on a rampage. You made me lose my goddamn horse! Stupid save thing. Maybe that's just what happens, though. Maybe, like, it's... You know, I'm bitching about the fact that I lost Nightmare Moon. Maybe, like, the game is because we're so far out now, we're again, over 100,000. We had the invisible textures. Maybe Nightmare Moon was there and she was just invisible? I don't know. I don't think she was. Or maybe the game just, like, doesn't like loading horses anymore. It's just like, Sparrow, you're way too far out. Please, we can't load you and the horse at this, at this critical stage. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna get her back. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna give the file to Toto just to, so that he can spawn her back in for me, but I still think it was kind of BS myself. Well, there you go. That's that's the way the cookie crumbles. Nice savanna opening up in front of us again allows would have allowed amazing speed if we were on Nightmare Moon. So you know what? I might not even record the second episode. I might just edit this first episode together. And give the file to Toto while I'm editing it together so that he can have Nightmare Moon back for when we get back from work. And that way, we'll be able to move a whole lot faster. Well, we've got like four minutes. So we'll try and like go over here and up onto that plane's biome to make sure that we've got a nice place for Nightmare Moon to run when she returns to us. Nightmare Moon's, Nightmare Moon's just gone to get a coffee. She's, it's early morning, you know. Obviously, she's the she's the mayor of the night. She 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 doesn't like the daytime. She's gone to bed. It's 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 bedtime for her. She's gone to sleep, and uh, she's like, I'm I'm just gonna go take a sleep, Spyro. If you wanna continue onwards, then I'll I'll meet you when you wake up. I know where you are. I I've obviously I have control over the very moon itself, so I have a simple teleporting spell, and I can just teleport to you. So that's, that's the story, and I'm going to stick with it. What do you say, cows? Do you believe my story? They moved. That's a yes. They believe my story. <laughs> well, hey, 31,000. I like that. I like 31,000. Maybe even, may even if we're lucky, be able to push it 32 by the end of this episode. Maybe. Maybe. Once we get to 150, though, we're only 100 away. Spiral, this is going to take forever. Season 2 was a lot longer than you thought, wasn't it? Well, it would have been it would have been faster if if the game didn't despawn the horses. But you know, as I say, she's Nightmare Moon's just having a power nap right now. We've been travelling for quite a while. She's just having a bit of a power nap. Look, it's daytime. The sun's rise. You can't expect the Mayor of the Moon to be out in the daytime. What are you mad? No, she's she's a nighttime girl. So she's, she'll teleport to us later on tonight, when we do the second episode, when she wakes up. 
below. Maybe I will give the file to Toto. Oh, but if I give the file to him, that means I'm stuck in this location. I'm looking at this endless ocean that's coming up. I'm just in debate of like, do I cross this without having to worry about the leash breaking? Or... Because then I can give it to him. Or do I... Uh, we'll see if there's land going around this beach. We've got a minute. We'll see if there's land going around this beach. If land, like, vastly shows up, which it does certainly look like it's showing up around this beachside area, I'll give her the file to Toto and he'll he'll do his MC edit to bring Nightmare Moon back. Or if not, then I'll probably hold off till I've got across the ocean in the next episode, and then in the next episode I'll say, oh, I'm ending the episode here, then I've got a whole week to for Nightmare Moon to, to have a, her beauty sleep, because she is a very beautiful lady and she does need her beauty sleep. Oh, well, gravity is now starting to screw up. Why if I break these? Oh, nope, apparently the plants were just holding it back. Well, that was a little bit of a weird gravity blip. So... If we had some bones, we could have got some dogs. Maybe I should have killed some skeletons or took some bones with me from that village. It's looking like it's an endless ocean. Yeah? Yeah. It's an ocean. So in that case, because it is said ocean, and we're at five minutes, we're going to stop the episode here. But I am going to say that I will hold off till the next episode, which I'll record when I'm back from work, to get Nightmare Moon back, because we can cross this ocean without having to worry about the leaf, the, the leash breaking, unless that is land over there. I can't tell if it's land or an island, so we will have a quick swim over to it. But it's... Oh, no, it looks like land. So I'll swim over to this land, and I'll do my wrap-up, and then I will give the file to Toto. Oh, yeah, that's definitely land. I will give the file to Toto. And he will he will uh, give Nightmare Moon an alarm clock. He will mod in an alarm clock for Nightmare Moon to wake up later on. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Minecraft Journey to the End of the World. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like. If you enjoyed the journey... Oh, for a second, I thought we couldn't go any further. It's like, don't, don't lie to me. I know we can travel further. But if you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss out. And if you're enjoying the journey and... Can't wait to come on the journey with me in Season 3, because we'll have a lot of Minecraft people in Season 3, then feel free to leave a like. I'm, I'm rambling at this point, so I was just trying to get to this island. So I was just kind of like, you know, holding off, like, oh, come on, get to the island so we don't have to spawn in the water. But we're on the island now, and we've got a vast desert sweeping out in front of us, which is great. So we will end the episode here. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like. If you the series, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Yeah, there's one right there.